What happened to the remarkable cast of the superb 1980s British period sitcom Blackadder? Let's explore the careers of those iconic stars who continued their success long after the show concluded. First up, Rowan Atkinson, who played the smart, conniving, sarcastic Edmund Blackadder. So entertaining was Blackadder that he was once voted the third best comedic character of all time. He may be Rowan's most beloved role in Britain, but his stardom reached new heights afterwards. The role most synonymous with Atkinson is of course Mr Bean, the unusual, mostly mute character that has unique ways of navigating through life. Mr Bean made Rowan one of the world's most recognisable actors and you'd be hard pressed to find a country that hasn't had Mr Bean on their tellies. Beyond Mr Bean though, he also did a run up of stand up shows with Angus Deaton, played a constable in Ben Elton's The Thin Blue Line and starred in the trilogy of Johnny English films as the headline character. Additionally, he's performed smaller roles in other films and shows, including Love Actually and Four Weddings and a Funeral. Finally, he most recently played a Mr Bean-like character in Netflix's Man vs Bee. Blackadder's hopeless servant and sidekick, Baldrick, was performed by the delightful Sir Tony Robinson. He was a convincing, intellectually challenged character that audiences were much drawn to. To date, it's still Sir Tony's most famous acting gig, but for the younger generation, many who have grown up watching him star in Maid Marian and Her Merry Men as the Sheriff that started in 1989 as Blackadder came to a close. However, Tony is also well known for presenting the long-running and highly successful archaeology program Time Team. Robinson was host for an amazing 285 episodes between 1994 and 2014. Fans of the show were also happy to see Tony recently return to present a 96-minute special in September 2023 for the Time Team YouTube channel. In addition to his TV work, Sir Tony Robinson was until recently a member of the Labour Party and was knighted in 2013 for his public and political service. Stephen Fry, who played Lord Melchett in Series 2, the Duke of Wellington in Series 3 and the useless General Melchett in Series 4, has been a prominent figure on British TV and film since Blackadder. He is a man that's seemingly never out of work. In the early 90s, he starred with best friend Hugh Laurie in Jeeves and Worcester, as well as the sketch show A Bit of Fry and Laurie. We also saw Stephen play main characters in Absolute Power, Kingdom and the recent Channel 4 drama It's a Sin. Further, Mr Fry was the original presenter of the quiz panel show QI from 2003 to 2016. On the silver screen, Fry has had countless roles including as his idol Oscar Wilde in the 1997 feature film Wild and he lent his voice for the narrator in The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Stephen Fry has been fairly outspoken too, being unafraid to criticise the Catholic Church and political leaders. He's also a high profile campaigner for LBGTQ rights on top of mental health awareness as the president of Charity Mind and his Emmy award winning documentary The Secret Life of the Man Depressive. This follows his own journey with depression when he made headlines for walking out of a West End play that also co-starred Rick Mail. Hugh Laurie was a full-time cast member of Blackadder from Series 3 onwards, but he immediately became a favourite actor on the show for his portrayal of the Prince Regent and Lieutenant George. As well as aforementioned roles with Stephen Fry, Mr Laurie has had tremendous success on both sides of the pond. The most prominent and probably best paid role was when he played the stubborn Dr Gregory House in the American medical drama House MD. As well as becoming Hollywood's best paid actor at the time, he was awarded with two Golden Globes for his performances. You may have more recently seen Laurie as a senator in the US comedy Veep, the formidable Richard Roper in The Night Manager and now in the Netflix miniseries All the Light We Cannot See. Beyond acting and comedy, Laurie is also a novelist and a musician, so he's quite a versatile performer. Tim McKinney had a stop and start relationship with the Blackadder series. After the first two series as Lord Percy, he opted out of a main character role for series 3, but returned as Captain Darling in the final, fourth series. After the period comedy finished, he's been in almost constant work. He reunited with Laurie for the 101 Dalmatians movie and with Atkinson in Johnny English Reborn. In 1999, he starred with Hugh Grant in Notting Hill, again working for Richard Curtis, and he appeared in five episodes in the global phenomenon Game of Thrones. Miranda Richardson was a delight when she portrayed Queen Elizabeth I in series 2 of Blackadder. She also made one-off appearances in the following two series. Following Blackadder fame, she's had a lot of acting work, including two Harry Potter films, the BAFTA winning The Crying Game, Chicken Run, and the 1993 movie Damage, where she won a BAFTA for Best Actress in a Supporting Role, 
as well as an Oscar nomination for the same category. Finally, she also played Winston Churchill's wife in the biographic film Churchill. Rick Mayo played the outlandish Flashheart in Series 2 and Series 4 of Blackadder. Prior to Blackadder, he came to fame in The Young Ones, and post-Blackadder, he reunited with Adrian Ebenson for 18 episodes of the surreal sitcom Bottom, as well as their humorous live shows. The comedy world sadly lost Rick Mayo in 2014 at the young age of 56. Gabrielle Glaister played Kate, otherwise known as Bob, in Series 2 and Series 4 of Blackadder. The character who disguises herself as a man is perhaps her most iconic role, and even today, strangers will call her Bob when she's going about her life, but she's done far more than star in Blackadder. Her first big role was as Patricia Farnham in 79 episodes of Liverpool-based soap Brookside, from 1990 to 1997. Later, she actually played two characters in the long-running British soap opera Coronation Street. What's more, she played seven characters in Doctors. In fact, she's had roles in a lot of other familiar British TV series, including The Bill, Casualty, and Emmerdale. Finally, she reprised her role as Bob, aka Judge Roberts, in Ben Elton's sitcom Upstart Crow. So which actor or character is your favourite from the entire Blackadder saga? What is your favourite role for the cast post-Blackadder? Let us know in the comments. Also, you may want to watch some of our other videos, including on the stories of each series of Blackadder. Thanks for watching and good luck everyone.